ಬಂದೇಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೇ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶಿಪಿಂದಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತ್ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕೆ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚಿನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲುಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನೀಕ್ಷಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಠಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಂ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಶ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
कृपा सिंधु सुसंपूर्ण सर्वसत्वोपकार निस्पृह सर्वत सिद्ध सर्वद्या विशारद सर्वसंशय संस्था अनलस गुरुराहित कृपा सिंधु सुसंपूर्ण सर्वसत्वोपकार निस्पृह सर्वत सिद्ध सर्वद्या विशारद सर्वसंशय संस्था अनलस गुरुराहित गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपाद जगदगुरु टोल बाय रीचिंग द लोटस फीट ऑफ सच ए एक्साल्टेड डिवोट ही आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू फील एनी डिसेटिस्फैक्शन वेन आई एम गोइंग टू रीच सच एक्साल्टेड साधु हु इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑल द ट्वेंटी फोर फोर आवर्स एंगेज इन गुरु सेवा भगवत सेवा then i cannot feel any dissatisfaction this is the symptom of guru tattva if i if i am going to approach one exalted sadhu not feeling satisfaction inside heart still different kind of desire dissatisfaction growing that's mean is problem baba speaking Sadguru Path Padma can give us complete satisfaction, can engage us in Hari Seva. From Shetasar Upanishad we know, Jasho Deve Parabhakti Yatha Deve Tatha Guru, Tashayte Kati Thahi Artha Prakashante Mahatmana. In Upanishad, we find one sloka: "Jasho Deve Parabhakti Jatha Deve Tatha Guru Tashite Kati Thahi Artha Prakashante Mahatmana." You can read so many sastra, but you cannot understand the inner meaning. Maybe you are great pandit. I mean, ex. these you know people of this material world people of this material world speaking that you are a great pandit you know sanskrit you know different shastra you can pass lecture 2 3 hours but be sure without the keep up sadguru be sure that without the keep up sadguru he cannot digest any shastra Without the keep up, Sadguru, you cannot digest all Sastra Siddhanta. You cannot digest. So you need Guru keep up. Before taking shelter under the lotus feet of Guru Path Padma, we will have to think thousands of time. Before taking shelter, we will have to know Guru Tattva. A blind man cannot take shelter of Guru Path Padma. totally blind he has no idea who is guru what is guru what to do with guru in that case a blind man is surely going to be guided by another blind man andha yathande rupaniya manam teyo pisichitanta murudam nivadya if one blind man is going to be guided by another blind man you cannot expect that you can reach that destination what you want goal first of all you will have to fix up your destination otherwise your chanchal hriday heart frickle mind can make you helpless frickle mind unstable mind what to do what to do when can hearing hari can no get a satisfaction chanchal you cannot settle down settle down your mind this is the main problem first of all you will have to take shelter of sadguru in simad bhagavad gita mahapuran it is written 
ಬಿಜಿತರಿಸೀಕವಾಯುವಿರದಾಂತಮುನಸ್ತುರಗಂ ಜಯ್ಯಜತಂತಿಯಂತುಮತಿ ಲೋಲುಮುಪಾಯುಖಿದು ವ್ಯಸನ ಶತಾಮೃತ ಸಮವಾಯು ಗೋರೋಶ್ಚರಣ ಭನಿಜಯಿವಾಜ ಸಂತಕೃತಕರ್ಣಧರ ಜಲ್ಲುಧೌ ಇಸ್ ರಿಟಿನ್ ಇನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ಲೆಸ್ ಓಷನ್ you should realize directly direct realization you should need not indirect realization indirect realization cannot give result you have to feel that you are helpless in a restless ocean like atlantic atlantic ocean or a specific ocean you know you, you feel that i am falling in this ocean and nobody to help me this condition you should realize from heart if you cannot realize then you cannot take shelter of gurudev i have taken shelter false you are speaking lie if you are not going to feel that way that you are helpless you are in the ocean you know you are in a big ocean restless ocean and what to do where to go how to you know save yourself this kind of situation until and unless until and unless you are going to realize this point directly you cannot feel the necessity to take shelter of guru patpat or at all if you take unknowingly you can leave gurudev i never speak you to accept gurudev i never speak i never speak to accept any such false guru dev i never told you i never told you to leave him immediately you will have to settle down your mind if you have failure to settle down your mind all your bhajan life total life can be failure try to realize without the support of guru without the support of guru kripa no father in the world no father in the world can prove that i am a great, great pracharak i am you know great guru i am a great disciple cannot prove even he cannot understand the inner meaning of shastra even he cannot understand the inner meaning of shastra to understand the inner meaning of shastra you will have to get great guru kripa otherwise you cannot digest you can hear so many hari katha you can read so many book but digestion how you can digest you cannot digest you can take all rich food very you are very greedy you are taking so rich food after that if you have no digestion power how you can digest big problem can be there so if somebody asking me in the bhajan field what is the prior need what is the prior need with the basic need i can say that guru kipa all along from the starting from starting up to end end what mean end mean if you enter into eternal world there also guru kipa guru kipa can help you somebody can claim that i am enjoying guru kripa but what is the symptom you can make full of whole world you can make full of whole world that you are enjoying guru kripa by guru kripa you are preaching this that but one tatvagyani purush can look at your eyes immediately understand what is the case immediately is x ray when tatvagyani purush's heart is so sensitive if you look at you can understand what is your position can realize so you can make full of the whole world i know whole world can go against me if i speak this siddhanta but if, if they can if they can come to me kindly i can prove them legally from shastra i can prove one siddhanta vid purush 
who is enjoying full giri, Guru Kipa, he can never speak wrong Siddhanta. He can never write wrong Siddhanta. If at all write wrong Siddhanta, that's when he is deviated from Guru Kipa. Surely. Like one mad horse, you know, mad horse you have seen. To get control over that mad horse, if you try to control mad horse, mad horse can run, and if you try to apply force, mad horse can kick you from back leg, kick you on your chest. Practically we have seen mad horse kick from back, back leg, blood vomiting and die. Mad horse, impossible, it is impossible to get control over mad horse. Your mind is compared with that mad horse. Vijitari shika vayu viradanta munasturagam jaya jatanti yantumati lolumupayo kidu Vyasana Shatamrito Samabahayo Guru Charanam Baneja Ivaja Santa Kita Karnodharaja Lodhu. Big problem. You have no controlling. Your life car is moving, but there is no controlling. Brake fell. Your brake fell. You can act, collide with some something. So first of all, it is my request to you all, never mind, try to get control over your mind first. This is the first thing. I already told, Yasho Deve Parabhakti Yatha Deve Tathaguru. Main problem is that whole world less interested to understand Guru Tattva. They are so idiot. Running wrong way. They are less interested. They have no idea about Guru Tattva. They want money, position, rank, and some glamour. Ah. They are not going to feel, they are not going to feel, to, they are not going to feel the importance of Guru Tattva. Guru Pat Padma. Why should I accept Guru Pat Padma? Who is Guru Pat Padma? One small girl, one small girl, eight years, ten years, from then onward, up to when she is already married, she gave birth to so many children, after that grandson, <laughs> everything. Whole life is going to get darshan of Bhagavan in a temple. Radha Madhav. Radha Madhav. Continuously going to take darshan, whole life. Last life, when he is almost going to leave this world, he is asking to Gurudev, Gurudev, I took diksha from you. Actually, I am going to temple, everything. And whole life I am taking darshan of, uh, I mean, you know, Bigraha and early in the morning, what happens to me? Still I am not feeling any, uh, you know, any enjoyment of bhajan. His question, who is going to put that old lady? Now old lady. Going to put questions, Sisila, my Guru Padma Sisila Bhakti Vita Madhavu Maharaj. To him. Guru Padma speaking, well, I can give answer in the assembly, so that everybody can know. Parambhaja Madhav Goswami Maharaj, my Guru Padma. My Guru Padma in the sense, I never feel Madhav Goswami Maharaj is not my Guru. I feel, I touch my, I feel is my Guru. Because I see Guru Tattva single, one and single, undivided Tattva. He gone from this material world, giving me inspiration all the time. 
in bhajan life, countless problems can come. Be careful. If you don't do bhajan, make compromise with maya, you go. You can find no problem. Don't break down. Why you break down? Bhajan means you will have to feed countless, you have to meet with countless problems. That is called problem. Bhajan. If there is no problem, I can take prasad and do. What is it? You will have to get preparation. Like fire, like fire brigade man. This my Guru Patan used to say. This my Guru Patan Bhakti Vidu Madhu Goswami used to say. We are like Gauriya devotee, like fire brigade man. We can do next day early. No! What next day? Idiot. Fire is there. Fire is there, we have to run now. Morning time I can go. Are you? Idiot. Fire is there glowing. Madhav Goswami has teach me. He is going to teach me. The fire is there. You are taking rest? I can kick you on your head. He is speaking to me. Go, do seva. Different problem. You will have to face problem. Go. Facing problem is your bhajan. You have to face. Go. He is going to teach me that you will have to get preparation like a fire brigade man. Always get ready to read, write, speak Harikatha, dance, Kirtan. I am, I am not going to seek my personal interest. Can you show me? Can you show me one single interest? I am, go I am not going to seek any personal interest. I am not going to think that I can go there uh, to avoid hot and cold, I can feel comfortable. It is my calm. It is my karma, passive karma. I will have to bear hot and cold everything. I will have to take preparation to face any kind of evangelity in my life to do Hari Bhajan. What to speak about you and me? Radharani facing countless problems. You can die. I am facing countless problems. You can heart fail. You go to Gosala and see what kind of problem happening. But still I am peacefully speaking, Harikatha, writing, calming, everything doing. You can test me, my pulse. Heartbeat is high. A pressure is high. Why? Because I know they are going to protect me. Main problem is that with you, you have no, you have no hundred percent belief that Guru Vaishnava can protect you. And I have hundred percent belief, whatever going to happen, if you take away everything from me, I promise you, if you take everything from me, still I can feel comfortable. No problem. Because now he is giving his take. So we should feel that we are totally protected. 100% submission should be there inside your heart and you should feel that I am protected by Guru Padpada. Sarvasya tomar charane shapiya parichi tomar ghari this kirtan you can do. Foolish. Wasting your time. Then do your kirtan this. Bhakti Muttagur writing so many kirtan. Tumi to Thakur, Tomara Kukur, I am your dog. You are my master. I am your dog. I am very faithful. I am a very faithful creature. I am not a traitor. I have taken prasadam of my Guru Bhargo. How I, how I can you know, cheat them? I am like dog. I am a faithful creature. I am a faithful like a dog. I have taken prasadam from Madhav Goswami Maharaj. I cannot forget. I always remember. They are giving me protection. You should feel that you are totally protected. But you are not taking shelter. How you can feel protected? Main problem is a freakal mind, unstable mind. Parmavya Madhav Goswami Maharaj giving answer in the open assembly. That Mataji, First of all, you speak, don't speak lie. You have any relationship? You have, you have your relationship with your grandson? Yes. You have your relationship with your son? Yes. 
You have any relationship with your husband? Yes. You have any relationship with your Bhagavan? Have you ever have you ever think? You have any, you have grown any relationship with Bhagavan or Guru Vishnu? Oh that I never think. That you never think? Why? He's coming to temple. Oh no no. I can do so many fasting, I can do STD penance, there's so many things I can. What is it concern to Krishna? You are a businessman. You are a businessman. You are fasting, asking, Ah, oh, I need this, I need this. You are serving Bhagavan? Or you are engaging Bhagavan in your service? Speak me. Right. You are going to engage Bhagavan in your service. Bhagavan is your servant. You can promise me that you are servant of Bhagavan. You can promise, come and speak. How much audacity you have. Madhav Goswami very often used to say, we are not dedicated for Bhagavan and Guru Vaishnava. How we can expect bhajan? Bhajan is not one game like a child. Puppet. Bhajan is not game. Bhajan is practical thing. You have to give everything for Bhagavan. Paramiya Madhukusim is asking in the assembly, My mother, ha have you ever thought about this point? You have grown any relationship with Bhagavan? Who is your Bhagavan? Who is Guru Vishnu? You think? I never thought. That's why you cannot do Bhajan. Shambhanda janiya bhajite bhajite abhimana have dur. You are? You hear this kirtan here or not? Go and read. Do kirtan. There you can find. Samanda janiya bhajite bhajite abhivan habit. How we can cut false ego? In the in the beginning we are making mistake. Whole mathematics in an MSc or uh, graduation, one mathematics four pages. I, I used to do four page, one mathematics way. If I make mistake in the beginning, whole mathematics wrong. Bhajan is like that. In the beginning, we are making mistake. You are not going to think any relationship with Bhagavan Guru Vishnu. Why not you think before taking shelter? Whom to take shelter? How to take shelter? What I can do by taking shelter? And that Guru Path Padma can give me direct relation or not. Or I am cheater or Guru is cheater. All you have to settle now. Parambhaja Madhav Goswami is speaking, My mother, you are not going to grow any relationship with Bhagavan, Guru Vaishnav. We are crying, we are crying, we are crying for Bhagavan. You can so single instant you are crying from Guru Vishnu, shedding tears. Oh my Guru Vishnu, where? You are shedding tears, you can say. Because you have no relationship. Tears not coming from your eyes. Because you have no relationship. First of all, you will have to grow relationship with Bhagavan. I can discuss some special point in Hindi Harikatha. At a time I cannot discuss so many things. So Josho Deve Parabhakti Yatha Deve Tatha Guru. All the inner meaning of Shastra can get manifest inside your heart, provided you have equal attraction and respect, love for Bhagavan and Guru. Even, even for Guru, more. Do I am speaking equal? Do I am speaking equal? Equal love for Guru and Bhagavan. But still, I can confirm this point. If you are going to feel more attraction, more love for Guru, it's more positive, more favorable. Yasho deve para bhakti, yatha deve tatha guru. You will have to equal love for Guru and Bhagavan. Even more for Bhagavan, for Guru Vishnu. Then you can realize all the meaning of Shastra inside you. You can realize. 
I can give you countless example. I can give you countless example. If you sit with me with full patience, you have no patience. I can show you. That great, great devotee, most of them have no education and qualification. But they realize all the inner meaning of Shastra. They have no education and qualification. Because what I can do? If I cannot utilize my education, <coughs> if I cannot utilize my education, in bhajan, what is the utility? If I am going to utilize my education for my personal benefit, to gather, to gather name, fame, position in the world, what I can get? You have to utilize all your body, speech, mind, money, everything, all your belongings. Sarvasya Charana Sapiya. Sarvasya, whatever, all your belongings, you should offer to Guru Pātma. There it is written, if, if you think about Bhangshi Das Bhavaji Maharaj, Gaur Kishat Das Bhavaji Maharaj, Bhagavan Das Bhavaji Maharaj, who not, all I can show you. They are not, material education is not there. <coughs> material education is not there, but they realize all the inner meaning of Shastra. How? Because Krishna is sitting inside them. Because Krishna is sitting inside them, so they can realize all Shastra. So in Upanishad we find one sloka, Jasmin prapte sarvam idam praptum bhavati. Jasmin gyatre sarvam idam vigyatam bhavati. If my Guru Maharaj is going to give that kind of property so that I can feel satisfaction, I am not running for material property. If, my, if I am going to get that kind of property for my Guru Maharaj, I am feeling okay. I am not feel dis, feeling dissatisfaction for money, position, everything. So in Upanishad it is written, Jasmin prapte sarvamidam praptum bhavati. If I am going to get the lotus feet of Gauranga Nityananda, I am getting all property of this infinity universe. Yes or not? Yes or not? If I am going to get the lotus feet of Gauranga Nityananda, I am getting all property. That's why in Vaishnav kya I told na? Tumi to amar, ami to tomar ki kaj aparadhane. Prabhupada already published, editing, already done, going to publish. Prabhupada going to write. Everybody asking me, what is this? You know. Tumi to amar, ami to tomar, ki kaj aparadhane. You are my property. Bhagavan, you are my property. And I am yours. So what property I need? When I took birth naked, when I took birth from the womb, womb of my mother, I was naked. When I can go away, you can go, you can throw me in crematorium ground, there also I am naked. So why should I lament? What for? I can cry. What for I can cry? Bhagavan speaking, why you are lamenting? Money loss? Eh? Father loss, mother loss, what loss? You are crying, friend loss, why? You all took from this world. All property you took back from this world, you will have to give back and go away. All my property. What is your property? You are lamenting. You took everything from this world, all your house, all your bank balance, or what from you? You, you bring from you, from pre you know, previous bar? You bring? You bring? Or you take everything from here? So you'll have to pay back. 
before going living in the body. You are taking everything from this world. You have no right to take anything, so you have to give back. So, we will have to try to get that kind of property. If we can get that kind of property, that property, unique property, then we cannot feel any dissatisfaction. Jashmin prapte sarma vidam praptum bhavati and by knowing Krishna Charan, I can know everything. Because Krishna is the source of all knowledge. Krishna is the source of all knowledge. If I know Krishna, I know everything. I know physics, I know chemistry, I know mathematics. You say, Maharaj, you don't know mathematics. I, I know mathematics. Transcendental mathematics I know. So why you say? If I know the Tattva Vijnana of Krishna, if Krishna, if I know the Tattva Vijnana of Krishna, all Tattva Vijnana, if I can go really loveful, loveful relation, relationship with Krishna, what property I can give value? And what knowledge is not there inside me? Can you prove? What knowledge is not there? Krishna is the source of infinity knowledge. I know. If I know, that's why the that's why the Siddhanta Bichar in Chaitanya Jyotimati written. Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru Hai. Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta, who is Tattva Vit, he is Guru. No Tattva Vit, no Guru. Maybe he can proficiency, he can have so many knowledge. But what is concern to me? In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is written, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is written that Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta, Mahapur speaking. Who is knowing Tattva Vetta, Krishna Tattva? He is Guru. Maharaj, he has taken birth in low family. What? Low family, idiot. He is Guru. Raya Ramananda Sangbad, I already discussed. You can find Raya Mahasaya giving, giving, Raya Mahasaya giving identity to Mahaprabhu for our, you know, kind information. I have taken birth in a very low family. Raya Mahasaya speaking. <laughs> Raghunath Das Gosai took birth in a low family, externally. Haridas Thakur took birth in a low family. So, Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru. He is Guru. Who is Tattva Vetta is Guru. Now, point is that if you know Krishna Tattva, then you can know everything. If you can understand Krishna of secret, you know, Tattva Vigyan of Krishna, then you can know Krishna. This way, you know, this Guru Path Padma, my Guru Path Padma, why I speak my Guru Path Padma? Because Guru Tattva is non different. If I give Puspanjali unto the lotus feet of Srila Bhakti Yuta Madhugu Maharaj, that Puspanjali can go unto the lotus feet of my Guru Path Padma. Surely, this is called Guru Tattva. So now, Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, if I try to discuss, what I can discuss? I can try to discuss, what I can discuss? Yeah? Is beyond my perception, Anubhav. But still, his life was totally, was totally dedicated unto the lotus feet of Prabhupada. Totally. 100% dedicated unto a lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada. One time, all devotees, they get together and, you know, and Prabhupada, you know, asking to each and everybody, which seva you like? Each devotee, Prabhupada asking. Prabhu, what, what seva you like? Some Maharaj there, what seva you like? Everybody is speaking. I like to go for preaching. Uh, 
I like to do some temple seva, this, that. Everybody is speaking. I like for collection seva, I like. Everybody is speaking. This way, everybody giving answer to Prabhupada. Prabhupada testing. What seva you like, what seva you like, what seva you like. Finally, Prabhupada asking to Hayagir Brahmachari. Hayagir Brahmachari, what seva you like? Prefer more. What seva you prefer more? Hayagir Brahmachari giving answer. Prabhupada, whenever you are going to give me order for any seva, whenever you are going to give me order for any seva, any time, I like it. Now any preference, no. Any time, any moment, if you are going to order me any seva, that I like. Popat was very happy. Not that false philosophy. Not that, not that Hayagi Brahmachari is going to speak some false philosophy in front of Popat. <laughs> Popat can realize everything if you, if you speak lie. Madhav Goswami Maharaj returning from long journey, one or two days journey, ten journey. Coming, crossing Ganga, reaching Bhagavad Gauri Mission, that time no division, that time same, Gauri Mat. Gauri Mission means our, but now divided. Prabhupada was there when Madhav Goswami Maharaj first go to pay Dandavat to Prabhupada. Just coming, two days journey, ten journey. That time, you know, how horrible ten journey? <laughs> now you are flying, ah! <laughs> Still you feel tired. <laughs> Pova speaking, you come back, all successful? Yes, all Immediately go take bath and take prasadam and your ticket is ready. Evening time you'll have to go. And he just come two days journey. He take preparation. Again going for another seva. Even running for another seva. Immediately running for another seva. Restless. Restless seva. Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada speaking that Hayagi Brahmachari is a volcanic energy. Like you know, volcanic eruption, you know, volcanic eruption, you know, from underground, there is volcanic eruption coming in Japan or in Indonesia, all the volcanic eruption. So, Boba speaking, Hayagi Brahmachari is volcanic energy. His energy is volcanic energy. Any time, any seva, that kind, that kind of energy sh we should have in our life for Guru Seva. That kind of energy we should have in our life for Guru Seva. Then we can get success. In ocean of seva, there is no seva, no what? Ocean of seva. I find ocean of seva. Infinity life, I cannot do Guru Seva, I can try my best. You say there is way seva. Infinity seva lying in front of me. You are blind, you cannot see where is seva. So, Prabhupada speaking, Sila Hayagi Brahmachari is volcanic energy. Really so. Our Prabhupada Siddhar Goswami is speaking. Our My Guru Padma Sri Sila Siddhar Goswami Paramita Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Rakha Siddhar Goswami Maharaj is the protector of devotional field. Bhakti Rakha is speaking. That everything is possible for Madhav Goswami Maharaj. After Prabhupada gone, I am going to speak about when Prabhupada was alive. Prabhupada was doing manifesting Lila. That time Madhav Goswami Maharaj was sent to Madras. Our Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Madhav Goswami was sent to Madras because Madras is Mayabadi place or Mayabadi belt. I have some influence of Ramanujaja, Madhacharya, but majority, majority of the population is Mayabadi. 
So Prabhupada wanted to open one center there, Madras, Gauriamat. There, for a long time, both of our Paramita Madhugusi Maharaj, our Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, all they sent there. Oh, so many devotees they sent there, Old Living Maharaj also. After that, divided, but if you are not, all they are trying their best. All they are trying their best. They are almost helpless, hopeless. Then they are taking decision what to do. We are trying our best. Same thing in Kabur. Kabur, you know, Rayaramananda Sangbad, where happened there also. Madhu Gosima. Our Siddhar Gosima is speaking. One day we are discussing. We are trying our best, but uh, we are trying our best, but we are not successful. Then Hayagi Brahmaja is speaking. Uh, not yet that much effort not done. That much effort not done on, on our part. So we can try. But you say, we are trying extreme. But Madhu Goswami is not yet done. As yet, uh, we are. We have to do more. <laughs> he is not fed up. So patience is a must in your life. If you lose your patience in your life, that means you are defeated. If you lose your patience, if you become angry, fed up, that means you are failure in bhajan. Madhav Goswami is never failure in life. Follow. This way Madhav Goswami Maharaj trying his best to fulfill the desire of Srila Prabhupada. All the time, trying his best to fulfill the desire of Prabhupada. He was sent to Assam to open one center there, Sarbuk. They are going, not village area, not village area, it's jungle, almost jungle, tribal people there. You can feel fear to go there. They are going. They are going, to, they are going to face different kind of event, eventuality in their life. So painful. No prasadam. No prasadam means not so easily. You will have to cook, you have to arrange. So difficult, you know. Prasadam is every day. I should not speak this way. Prasadam means kipa. Always kipa coming on me. So how I can say there is no prasadam? Prasadam is there. But question of collection, how to collect Kripa. Rain can come from up. But if you want to collect rainwater, you have to get a big pot, na? you are taking a small pot. How much water you can get? Eh? This much. So your pot is very small. So you will have to prepare your pot. You have to make a big pot. Such a big pot where Anantadev can come and take rest. Ananta. Uh, we, can, we like to extend our heart. We like to extend our heart in such a way after that infinity. I like, eh? Infinity. I can invite Anantadev to come. Now my, my heart is extended up to infinity. He can come because you are Anantadev. Because you are Anantadev. If I give a small place, you can sit there like a miser. Oh, here, how I can please? Your heart is so small, Bhagavan cannot sit there. So there, in Assam, they are going for preaching, almost everything done. Land collection, you know, construction, everything. Now Prabhupada, you know, they are, Madhu Guse, they are inviting Prabhupada, you can come. For the installation, for the installation of deity. The installation of deity. Prabhupada going in Assam. Prabhupada was given warm acclamation. Why? Elephant. They arrange elephant. Assamese elephant. On Assamese elephant, they arrange Prabhupada sitting. And Prabhupada in elephant coming. And they are playing musical instrument, kirtan. Big, enthusiastic way. And Assamese people, they are very plain-hearted. Very plain-hearted. Thousands of people in procession, going, musical instrument, 
They are going to reach. After reaching, I went there in, in one time in my life. In SM, in my whole life, one time I went. There I speak Harikatha in Gohati. I speak Harikatha in some Basugao. I speak Harikatha in different places. One time I went. But one time I went, one time, one, one shoot, successful. I went there, some devotee arranged car, all private car. I went there in Sarbhog there. I visit the place where, the very small place. Even your idiot, your kitchen is very, you know, your kitchen is very, you know, high class. Your kitchen, you know, <laughs> but Prabhupada used to say in a very small place, over tin. Tin, you know? But still, there is a massive preaching. Massive preaching. Anyway, I can come to the point some some day at the Abhirbhav Titi of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. In details I can speak. Now one day, some devotee requesting our Hoyagi Brahmachari. Prabhu, Prabhupada love you very much. So, so you will have to take permission from Prabhupada that uh, we can do less Harinam. One lakh Harinam we cannot complete. Full day seva, when we can do? You can speak to Prabhupada. You cannot speak. You can speak because Prabhupada loves you very much. All God brothers, senior God brothers requesting him, you can ask Prabhupada. When we can do one lakh Harinam? All day we are busy with seva. Then one day, Prabhupada doing Harinam by walking. Prabhupada doing Harinam by walking. And Hayagi Brahmachari taking one hand pen. Hand pen, you know? Hand pen. Popat going here, hand pen. Popat coming here, hand pen. After a long time, you know, our Hayagi Brahmachari asking to Popat, Popat, we have no time actually. Whole day we are doing in a different kind of way, trying to do seva. So we cannot find, uh, we cannot find time to complete one lakh harinam. When to do? How to do? This question, Vaigi Brahmachari putting in front of Prabhupada. Prabhupada was very harsh. Prabhupada was thinking, why? Why? Night time what you are doing? Night time what you are doing? I mean, you cannot sleep. You will have to do Harinam. No compromise. A Shadguru can never make any, many compromise. A Shadguru can never make any compromise. So Suddha Bhakti. A Shadguru can never misuse you. Ashadguru, I can, I am in Vyasasan, I promise you. Ashadguru can never make any compromise. Never. Ashadguru never going to, never going to think how many devotees are there. Ashadguru never thinking how many people coming to take shelter on my lotus feet. Ashadguru never think that. A Sadguru never think that way. That I will have to count how many? 5,000, 10,000, huh? 10,000? Not going to count this way. A foolish Guru going to count this way. A Sadguru never going to count this way. That how many people, <coughs> how many people, how many people has taken shelter on me? I mean, how many disciples I have? Rather, a Sadguru always watching your heart. Rather, a Sadguru always going to watch your heart. A Sadguru going to watch your heart. To see the maturity of your heart. Acha, by hearing Harikata, how much maturity and you know, development of heart. I mean, inside heart, we can imagine one lotus flower. Lotus flower, no? The lotus flower, by hearing Harikatha, by love, affection of Guru Vishnu, is eh? you know, in full bloom. So, Guru, ba, Guru Padma, Sadguru Padma, Sadguru Padma never going to think, 
never going to count the number of disciples. Sadhguru always watching, you have come to me, I like to watch your heart. I like to see by hearing Harikatha, by getting my affection, love, how your lotus flower inside heart, you know, expressing its full form. Is it not, is it now matured? Is it, is it now matured enough? I like to take the lotus flower from your heart. I like to offer to Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Prabhu, I like to offer this Jivatma, this, this lotus flower onto your lotus feet. Understand the meaning. Try to understand the inner meaning. You never heard. You never heard in your whole life. You heard all dry philosophy from different source. That's why no improvement. A Sadguru never going to count number of disciples. Sadguru always interested to watch your heart, the lotus flower into your, inside your heart by getting bhakti, nourishment of harikatha, kirtan, prasadam, expressing or not. Is it now, is it now in full fledged form, full bloom form, so that I can take this flower, I mean I can take you, and offer unto the lotus feet of Gauranga. Now is matured. This lotus flower, Prabhu, I offer to you. I never like to en I never like to engage anybody. I never like to engage anybody in my service. Never. Never I like to engage you all in my service. I like to engage you all in the service of Bhagavan Gauranga. That is my Siddhanta. This way, all the time, Sisila Bhakti Yuta Madhu Maharaj was successful. Prabhupada's personality was so heavy personality, outside people, if you look at Prabhupada, what to speak about Prabhupada? You cannot, you cannot come in front of Prabhupada. If you have some weakness, if you have some weakness, dirty thing inside your heart, you cannot come in front of pure Vari Vaishnava. You can feel shy. To what to speak about Prabhupada? If you have your weakness, weakness means annavilas. What do you mean by weakness? Annavilas. Different kind of desire, karma, krodha, all. You cannot come in front of Prabhupada. Annavilasita sunyam jnana karmadi anabritam anukullena kishnanu silanam bhakti ruttama. You have to start uttama bhakti. You have to start excellent bhakti, not ordinary bhakti. If you do ordinary bhakti, okay, I can do something. You cannot reach. I cannot cheat you. So this way, actually, Prabhupada, in front of Prabhupada, to reach in front of Prabhupada is very difficult. What to... What to how we can speak with Prabhupada? If you can reach, if Prabhupada is there, you can fly. You cannot talk with Prabhupada. So heavy person. If you look at you can feel shy. Yes. Madhav Goswami Maharaj. I am proud, I am proud to speak. I am proud to speak about this Mahapurush. This my. If somebody have the chance to look, if somebody have the chance to look at him, he can change his life. He can change his life. He took trouble to preach within India. He was supposed to go to foreign country. Prabhupada wanted to send Hayagri Brahmachari in foreign country. But by chance, Hayagri Brahmachari thinking, I am a bonded soul. So Hayagi Brahmacharya is thinking, eternal parsat is thinking, I am a bonded soul. Uh, if I go to foreign country, this, uh, the Maya can touch me. So Prabhupada is going to send me what to do. Finally, Prabhupada is going to change decision. <laughs> Finally, because Hayagi Brahmachari, if Prabhupada is going to give order, he is bound to go. He cannot say, I cannot go. But he is thinking how to go. 
There is, there is in foreign country, beautiful ladies there. How I can go? I can be in Maya. This way. In the meantime, some important personality talking with Prabhupada. Prabhupada, why give Brahmachari so good looking, attractive figure? Attract Ajani Lombi the Bhujo. If you look at Hagi Brahmachari, you can become puzzled. So I think uh, Prabhupada, if you send him, is good or not? Because so nice looking, na? very good. Handsome. Pope, after that, Prabhupada took decision not to send Hagi Brahmachari to fine country. Follow this way. But within India, within India, his preaching is remarkable. Not remarkable, unparalleled, unbeaten. You cannot go. You cannot go to Assam, Assam, Assamese jungle. You cannot go to Mayavadi field, build like in you know, Punjab. All Mayavadi world. He is taking trouble. He is going there. Jalandhar. I've been there. I speak Harikatha. In Chondigar, Jalandhar, all by the creep up. My Guru Pat Padma. Jalandar, many Harikatha. Chandigar, Harikatha, many times. By His mercy. Otherwise, who is going to get the opportunity to speak there? It's all His mercy. Mayavadi belt. Follow. You feel tired. You feel tired to, to hear Harikatha. Two hours Harikatha, you are feeling tired. Even not two hours. But that time, they used to speak Harikatha four times in a preaching field. When they are going to used to go to preaching field, morning time, seven to nine, after that, eh, after that, you know, ten to twelve, after that, afternoon session, and you know, going to speak Harikatha from four to six, after that, night time, seven to nine. Fourth time, Harikatha. All village people with chatu, you know, chatu, you know, chatu, grind powder of grain with chatu, banana used to come with water, village people. Oh, great, get sadhu coming, they are coming to stay. Because that time people, they, they have a more enduring power, they are coming. Staying under a banana tree or this and a banyan tree. Sadhu. Two, three days filled. Madhav Goswami Maharaj have no discrimination with God Brother. He always to give place to. If I go on speaking, it is Mahabharat. Epic Mahabharat. I can write one Mahabharat with the name of Madhav Goswami Maharaj. But to speak about two hours Sarikatha. But to speak. And if you want to criticize Madhav Goswami Maharaj, his jealousy with you, how I can respect you? Where is he going to, going, to, going to give place to everybody? Every God was you come. No discrimination. Such a great heart, I have never seen. Even I am enjoying Kripa of Maharaj. How it was possible for me to publish 60 books? And now, if we count 80 books, almost at present. I am speaking about previously. How possible? By His mercy. I used to go to Calcutta Mott, His Madhu Goswami Maharaj. He used to stay, take prasadam, and doing, you know, that time no computer facility, nothing. He used to go to Calcutta for press job, whole day and night. Doing seva in Calcutta. So all by His mercy. I took His chapati. I took His rice like a dog. How I can forget my Guru Pātpad? If I am a dog, genuine dog, how I can forget my Guru Pār? Guru Pār, by His mercy, I was successful. So many cases. I can jump, actually, sorry. So, he used to go in different Punjab, Punjab, different place. Amritsar. Amritsar is totally Mayavadi place. There in one, one Ram Mandir, he used to speak Harikatha and Kirtan. And every day thousands of people used to come to see his dancing. Madhu Goswami used to dance. Yeah. Like, like, you know, Gorang Mahapu. 
dance in Kirtan. People like, you know, honey is coming, like honey is coming, like honey is coming to collect honey from all people coming. Even when they are going away, they are expecting maybe tomorrow also. So they are coming advance, in advance. Today no kirtan? No, no, no kirtan today? Then Tito Maharaj, Tito Maharaj, Hari, and uh, our Tito Maharaj, that time Brahmachari, going to the room of Guru Padma. Maharaj, Gurudev, all devotees, all people coming along and asking today, no, no kirtan? They're speaking to Madhugosi Maharaj. Madhugosi Maharaj was so harsh, so heavy, that Tito Maharaj feeling. He is asking, Madhugosi Maharaj looking at, you know, you know, Krishna Vallabh, Tito Maharaj, not speaking anything. When Tito Maharaj requesting Maharaj, all people coming, they are asking, today also Kirtan? Maharaj only looking at him, he will not fail, coming out. Because our Kirtan is to give satisfaction to Gauranga, not to give satisfaction to public. Follow? Such an exalted devotee I have never seen in my life who is so merciful. I was speaking so many slok in my starting Harikatha. If I go on explaining one on slok, it will take long time. Time cannot permit. This way, whole life he was successful. After Prabhupada, if after Prabhupada, if you if you ask me, after Prabhupada, if you ask me, you speak one name of you know, Guru Bhargava, who is successful in preaching all over India. Outside, he also used to speak in English, in different society. I can say the name of Madhu which is impossible. If you don't believe, I can take you to different place. Impossible to open one temple in such an important place. Only possible for Madhu Goswami. You can go to Chandigarh Mart. Oh my God. B sector, sector number 20. If you pay 50 crore rupees, you cannot get any piece of land. There he make temple. If you go to Assam, Gohati, if you pay 50 crore, cannot give land. There he make temple. Follow. I am not speaking any story in front of you. Any temple, Calcutta, if you pay, how many crores you like to pay? You cannot get land. It's called Madhugusi Maharaj. It's called Bhakti to Madhugusi Maharaj. One of my Guru Bhargava. You know, making a joke with Madhugusi Maharaj. Not, not negative joking. Not negative joking. With loveful joking. With Madhugusi Maharaj. When Madhugusi Maharaj was thinking about how to deliver the place of Prabhupada. I am jumping. Excuse me. I have no time what to discuss. I am bound to jump. No time. When our Hayagi Brahmachari is thinking how to deliver the place of birthplace of, birthplace of Prabhupada, he is thinking, so many crores of rupees I need, where from I can get? Nothing. He is praying to each and every of his God brother. Even those who wanted to insult him, he is praying to all God brothers. I la we like to get, it is your duty, you are senior. No, proper not giving order to me. You can try. You can give some donation so that we can deliver. How we can give donation? I have no all God brothers. Even those who wanted to throw Madhav Goswami out of temple. Madhu Goswami also was the Acharya of Chaitanya, what nobody knows. You have no information. When Prabhupada gone, our Madhu Goswami Maharaj was Hayagri Brahmachari. He was even the Acharya of Chaitanya. Long history, when and how. And he was driven out of that. Because of his exalted personality, his influential. Everybody fear those are influential personality. Today's situation is very typical. 
Today's situation is so critical that one godmother going to do some seva, for him I cannot get any name, pen and position. Better we can kill him or throw him out. We can make some disturbance so that he can. This is, the, this is our dirty mentality. But Madhu Goswami, my whole life, my Guru Maharaj was there. 35 years. 35, 37 years. Totally with Bhakti to Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Thirty-five, thirty-seven years, continuously with Madhukasi in preaching, feel, in writing, editing, and uh, Chaitanya Vani, everything. When he was trying his best to deliver the place, birthplace of Prabhupada, nobody going to help me. Even my Guru Maharaj, externally he was so niskinchan sadhu, no money, nothing. He requested to one of his god brother, I don't like to name his. Could you please help me to deliver, you know, to rectify my Kalna temple? He's speaking all rubbish to my Guru Maharaj. He's speaking all rubbish. Guru Maharaj, beer. Write one letter, rubbish letter to him. Guru Maharaj, never mind, okay. After that, he's fall down. Speaking all rubbish to my Guru Maharaj. I, I think now, if we cannot love pure Guru Vishnu, whom we can love? Position, money. I can love my position and money. Whom I can love? If I cannot, if I am failure to love my, you know, you know, Guru Vishnu, whom I can love? This way, Madhav Goswami is requesting door to door. Oh my God, brother. Whatever happens to you, I forget. I never mind. And now we can come together. To do no, you can do yourself. Papa never told me. Papa never told me. It is our duty to do it. Then our Bhakti Bicha Jajavar Goswami Maharaj. When Madhav Goswami Maharaj, when when Madhav Goswami Maharaj externally in a critical position, I cannot say fed up. Because I already told his patience is boundless. So I cannot see I cannot speak wrong Siddhanta. Extreme position. Then one of his godbrother, I mean our I mean our Bhakti Bija Jajavur Goswami Maharaj, one day joking with him. One day joking with him. Madhu Madhu Vachi, Madhu Madhu Bhidi. Smaranti Sadavaha Sarva 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 Kajish Madhama. I was speaking at that day, na. It's called, it's called actually Shuddhi Mantra. Shosti Vachan. Om Madhava Madhava Vachi, Madhava Madhava Hirdi, Smaranti Sadavaha Sarva 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 Kajish Madhavam. Hey, our Hagi Brahm, our Hagi, our, you know, Jajavar Gusima joking with him. Madhava Madhava Bachi, Madhava Madhava Hridi, Smaranti Sadhavaha, Sarva Kajesh Madhava. Madhava Gusi Maharaj is joking with me, my godbrother, senior godbrother, Jajava Gusi Maharaj. Then Jajava Gusi Maharaj speaking this way. Then all godbrother, he, he, con he convened one meeting and openly speaking, all Guru Vaishnava going to bless me. By speaking, Madhava Madhava Vachi, Madhava Madhava speak. Actually, Madhava Madhava Vachi means Krishna. But here, Madhava Madhava Vachi, Madhava Madhava Hirdi, it is the actual meaning is Krishna. Eh? Madhava Achi Krishna, Madhavi, Madhavi actually, and Krishna about this. And also about, uh, uh, about Lakshmi Devi. Madhav means actually all the source of all appliances. Madhav. So when Jajabar Goswami and Godfather are going to joke with him, he's wanted to mean that your name is Madhav. Madhav means actually all the source of all appliances. So you can get all the glory. Madhav means actually all the source of all appliances. So you can get all from heaven. Madhav means actually all the source of all appliances. So you can get all from heaven. Ah, money can come. Money can come to help you. Our Hagi Mamaji Madhav Goswami was very stunned. 
to get this kind of kipa. He was sure. Now my godfather or you know blessing me this way, that's mean I can come out successful. Even international society, they also fail you. They took initiative, litigation, so many complications. After the mother goes in mind, trying. If I speak the history, it becomes Mahabharata. When they, when Madhu Goswami took that place first, you can, you don't like to so dirty. Externally, the place is so dirty. Even if you can go there, with you can go this way. But Madhu Goswami was going to deliver that place because after Bhakti Mino Thakur gone, Popat gone, that place is you know already taken over by some badmas, wicked person, the hooligan, gunda. When Madhav Goswami is sending two or three devotees to stay there in a room and worship, you know, Giriraj and Jagannath. But the Gunda, the hooligan coming with, with knife and hand, can kill you. Go away. Can kill you, otherwise you can murder you and so. They are fearing. They are informing Gurudev, Gurudev, this is the condition, they like to kill us. Marikiri Peki Divo Uriya, Uriya language. I can murder you and throw you. They are speaking. Madhav Goswami is speaking, don't fear. Popad is there. Finally, litigation. I mean, court, court case, everything going on. Long. Oh, horrible. If we think one time, we can go. Whew, horrible. Still, Madhav Goswami are keeping patience, spending lakhs of rupees. Finally, finally, he was successful by the mercy of Pahupat. He, he was supposed to get control over that, get possession, possession of that land. Now, Gunda, for a long time, Madhav Goswami had folded hand. My son, if you go away, I can give you money. If you go away from this way, because my Guru Pat Padma is Avirva place, if you go away kindly, I can give you money, comp compensation. No, we cannot go. Whatever you like to do, do. Madhu Goswami is requesting. Yes, we like to make one temple, our you know, noble cause. You can help me, I can give you money. You can take, you know, place and you can, I can give you money. No. You cannot go. Forcefully they are there. When the final verdict, you know, final verdict, you know, from court coming, all police force coming and going to throw all the luggage of the gunda. Gunda means hooligan. Outside. Oh! Outside. Oh! They are kicking gunda. Help! Outside. With fire, gun. Then they are coming in front of Madhu Gusi Maharaj. We are ready to go. If you give our, if you give our, our payment, then we can go away. Madhav Goswami is speaking to one sevak. You go to Bandar, you know, and gain, bring some green banana. Green banana. I am giving one, one piece to each. Now I can give green banana to you. Previously, <laughs> previously I requested you, but I never heard it. Now I can give only green banana. Nah, take one by one and go away. This is called Madhav Goswami Maharaj. When all, everybody failure, when everybody failure, then the starting point of Madhav Goswami is coming. It's called our great, you know, Guru Varga. When everybody failure, then the starting point of Madhav Goswami Maharaj. You all failure? Now let me try what I can do. It's called Madhav Goswami Maharaj. This way, by the mercy of Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, we are successful today to, de to sit and speak Harikatha. I feel lucky. Because in Padma Puran it is written, Yudkale Purushottamat. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, the great, we are successful to deliver that place, Ab Abhirva place. So, whole world now coming. Whole world, huh? whole world now coming to take darshan of the birthplace of Prabhupada. Who is 
that was my Guru Path Padma. I feel proud. I feel proud to identify myself. I am a beast. I am a beast. I am very proud to identify that I am the disciple of. But he give me privilege to identify that I am the disciple of Bhakti to Madhu Gosimara. And many time I told, you know, many time I told his disciple, Bhakti Balak Tito Maharaj, his disciple, Srila Bharti Maharaj, I never said they are my god brother. His disciple, what to speak about him? He is my guru, eternal guru. What to speak about him? Even his disciple, even his disciple, Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, his disciple, Bhakti Balak Tito Goswami Maharaj, his disciple, Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj, you never find one place. I say they are my God brother. I promise and say they are my they are my guru. They are my guru. I never speak their God brother. That much adversity I don't have. Always when they, when they call me, I go like a dog. What do you? Any time, any kind of instruction I received received from Bhakti Vita Madhu, you know, disciple of Bhakti, you know, Bhakti Vala of Tito I was ready. When he started foreign country fishing, I was a fallen soul. He used to send to airport, you bring. And in between, when the car driving, in between he used to speak Harikatha to all foreign devotees. I mean, when I am going to reach Tithukusi Maharaj, in the middle, halfway, when the car is driving and speaking Harikatha, going to mold them. Follow. Even they never see, even they never, they never meet with Bhakti Vala Tithukusi Maharaj. When a car driving, they are speaking Harikatha. So in car, they are hearing Harikatha, they are already molded. Already molded, they are going to take shelter. That was my seva. Anytime I hear, Tithumara used to ring. You send Samal Krishna to Calcutta, we have some seva. My name was Samal Krishna. Send immediately. Tithumara, they have some seva. I used to go. I feel proud of that. Bharti Maharaj. Oh, so much affection. In infinity period, I cannot pay them. I like to sit in front of I like to sit in front of Bharti Maharaj. I feel comfortable. But where they gone, leaving me alone, I am helpless now. But still, I feel Guru Bhargava there. They are also there. Now this way, Abhirbha place was delivered. But unluckily, we miss Bhakti Yudha Madhu Goswami Maharaj. In the year of 1978, live. After that, the temple and the deities all installed. He lived this material one. My Guru Maharaj installed temple. My preliminary everything done, but they he living. He living this material world. But before living, he has done such a remarkable seva. The infinity period, infinity period. So long as this, so long as the material world is there, so long as Gauriya Vaishnava Samaj is there, they are, they are bound to remember, they are bound to remember, they and their father and forefather, they are bound to remember the lotus feet of my Guru Pat Padma, Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami. They just cannot forget him. How they can forget? How they can forget? I am not a traitor, I am not a cheater. How I can forget him? If I go on speaking, I say endless. How is behavior for God brothers? How is behavior for God brothers? How his how is behavior? How is behavior for his God brother? If I speak, you can stand. Even those God brother insulted him. He is giving instruction. To Narottama Brahmachari, Krishna Balla Brahmachari, if you love me, if you love me, you have to do seva to this Babaji Maharaj, Thakur Das Baba. Maharaj, he already insulted. I say, if you do seva of him, then I can become satisfied. Go, do seva. So many cases. If I speak, follow, even our Sami Maharaj, when he was sick, he was given Sadra in Math. Totally, treatment, everything, all, totally, thousands of rupees, because of some disease, is staying there. 
statement, everything. He never speak any lie to anybody. He speak, never take revenge against anybody. Never take, never took revenge. Never took revenge. Never took revenge anybody. God brother mean? My heart. But to speak. Madhav Goswami Maharaj going to SM and different place for preaching. Massive preaching. A remote place. Remote place you cannot go. There, Madhav Goswami Maharaj going to preaching. Very poor man. Even they can maximum give you some banana. Take. Gurudev, we have no. They can arrange your rice and chapati. Nothing. So poor. No place to stay in the night time. No place. They have a very, very, you know, unstable kuti. Bhajan, they have an unstable place. Madhav Goswami is staying in a bamboo structure. Bamboo structure, this way you have seen in village area, bamboo structure 4 or 5, 8. After they can make one platform, like, like train, you know, bunk, you know, bunk, this platform and that platform. Madhav Goswami are taking rest in the upper bunk, unstable, outside, in sky. Bunk, and Tito Maharaj taking bunk, second bunk. And night time, snack going, shah. Tito Maharaj speaking. Tito was speaking to me, Maharaj, I have so fearful snack, big, big snack going. But I think Gurudev is there up, no problem. Tito was speaking. I was Brahmachari that time. Night time we were sitting in a village where a jackal can come and eat up. Some snack, frog. We are taking rest, my Guru Maharaj up. I am second bunk. And Guru when snack going, Gurudev is there, no problem. Protector is good there. If the whole world going against me, they can try what they can do. If my Guru Maharaj is going to favor me, if, if Popat is going to protect me, if Bhakti is going to protect me, let me see what you can do. At least you cannot prove that I am speaking lie. I know you have your money power. You can try to kill me. But you cannot prove. If you have your honest intention, you can come to me and prove that I am speaking lie. My protector is Anantadev, Balaram. My protector is Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur. I have no bodyguard, nothing. No money power. Anyway, one day, Madhav Goswami was speaking Harikatha. Preaching party. One preaching party going. And Madhav Goswami wanted to, wanted to break the preaching party. Break one eh? One preaching party going. Madhav Goswami wanted to divide preaching party. You can go to this place for preaching and I can go with some devotee this way. Then maximum preaching can be Minimum time and maximum output. Minimum time and maximum output. So this. Follow. So Madhav Goswami Maharaj preaching in one place and some devotee, Madhav Goswami is sending them. You can go to this you know, village to speak Harikatha. They are speaking Harikatha. And Madhav Goswami here is speaking Harikatha. When Madhav Goswami was speaking Harikatha, Harikatha going on, immediately one, devo one or two devotees running with sweat coming, Maharaj, Maharaj, what happens? But there, some tribal people, they are going to, they are going to, you know, not actually total tribal, they are going to beat Gauriya Vaishnava. Their head broken, their blood coming, there no hospital where to send. Unnecessary. Why? Well, unnecessary. You can stop preaching because they are mayavadi. They are mayavadi. So they don't like to hear preaching. They like to stop. We are preaching Kirtan, Harikata. They come and break the head with brick and streak. Blood coming up. Madhav Goswami Maharaj with full pleasant hearing Harikata, speaking Harikata. When hearing this, when hearing, Madhav Goswami never wanted to take any revenge against anybody. I myself never wanted to take. I myself, oh, so many cases I can speak. They cheat me. They, they take everything from me. They cannot come in front of me to identify that they are my godbrother. They took everything. 
Follow. Still, I am not fighting with. Anyway, I love everybody. Let them do whatever they like. Finally, what happens? Madhav Goswami Maharaj speaking Harikatha and all people coming, even your all devotees, they are in hospital, they are taking hospital, they are faint, are beating them. Madhav Goswami only speaking, Ha Krishna. Only one word. Not speaking, you call police. Not speaking, you call policemen. These are not speaking. Only speaking, Ha Krishna. Ha Krishna. Only one word. Only one time. Ha Krishna. This Ha Krishna, this word is like atom bomb, you know? Hydrogen bomb. Ha Krishna is speaking. Exclamation, Ha Krishna. Only one word. Is more than atom bomb. That night, those who wanted to attack devotees, that night, mad elephant coming and breaking all their room, children, oh, that night, same night, when Madhav Goswami said, Ha ah, Krishna, same night, all mad elephant coming and breaking all their room, you know, children, elephant going to kill them. All small babies, eh? putting leg, are gone. Then they could realize that Bhagavan is going to take revenge. It's called Madhav Goswami Maharaj. His name is Madhav Goswami Maharaj. He is speaking only, Ha Krishna, and shedding tears. Ha Krishna. All my children, now in hospital, all my sons, not speaking anything. Not going to speak, you call policeman, call Gonda. Follow, what is it? One word. Is more than sufficient. This way you see, now present situation is that everybody try to take undue advantage of any weak point, of any great sadhu. Actually, great sadhu, they cannot have any weak point. Suppose externally some problem, like my Guru Maharaj. Externally, he cannot, uh, re renovation cost cannot arrange. But some God brother, he write later, speaking all rubbish. You are so pure, I am in contaminated, how I can help you? You could say, I cannot give money, that's okay. But for that, Bhagavan is going to take revenge. By you speak to such a Paramahansa Vaishnava, you could say, I cannot give money, it's okay. You are going to tease him. So you already got. So this way, I am very, you know, I am, you know, with heavy heart, I am praying to Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj to come here again, to love us directly. I know you love us. I know you love us in, from there, but directly we'll have to come. If you don't come, who can get control over this uh, restless situation? I request you, you come, otherwise we cannot rectify the situation. Very sensitive situation at present. Very sensitive situation at present. What to do? Anyway, we have no time, actually, I am bound to stop today. So you should remember that our situation is like in a helpless condition. We, we can discover ourselves in the o in ocean, big ocean. Vijita rishi kabayo viradanta muna suragam jaya jatanti yantumati lo lo lum lo lo mupayo kido vyasana satam rito samabahayo guru charana mani jaya vaja santa kita karna dharaja ludo bancha kalpatur siki basin rishi jai si parampujiva vinu guru pasi si vaktu idu madu gusi maharaj ki. तो यो तीरो बाप तीती बरा महामास सब की गौर पे मान